And C.S. Lewis, writing about the pleasures of appreciation, has written, something has not merely gratified our sense, but in fact, uh, in fact, but claimed our appreciation by right, claimed our appreciation uh, by, uh, by right. Something distinctive uh, about the person uh, we love or, or like, claim, we recognize and claims us and we recognize the value of it in, in itself, for itself. <coughs> and I think <coughs> this is very well <coughs> brought out in a play by the Irish writer Frank McGuinness called There Came a Gypsy Riding By. In this play, a family meet together on the anniversary of their son Jean's suicide, and they're given a note on that anniversary written by him but when they'd opened the envelope, he gave absolutely no reason at all as to why he'd taken his own life. And they're doubly distressed, uh, both for the death and for the fact that he actually gave no reason for it. And then the father says to his wife, I looked into his coffin the morning of his funeral. I said something to him that nobody heard. I've not told you or the children. I told him if I were given one wish, I wouldn't go back in time to before he was born, and I would not change him. Jean, I would still choose him. I wouldn't change my child, no matter what. Now, when I first heard that, I was very moved by it. Although this son had committed suicide, the father still, still somehow recognised the unique worth of his son, his particular uh, uh, son. And I think one of the important implications of this stress that I'm making upon, uh, as it were, insight being prior to, to, to reasons is borne out by the expense we're all aware of, uh, is that sometimes uh, the simplest, most straightforward people without very much formal education can make the most wonderful moral decisions. At the time of the Nazis in, in Germany, there are scores of very moving stories from farmers and farm lads who resisted what the Nazis were doing, and they could give no philosophical reason for it or theological reason. They just did uh, what they saw to be uh, right. Now, I mustn't harp on at this point, but a similar, uh, it, a similar point was made by... Uh, Montaigne in his essay on friendship he says if a man urge me to tell him wherefore I love him I feel it cannot be expressed but by answering because it was he because it was myself it is not one of special consideration nor two nor three nor four nor a thousand it is I wot not what kind of quintessence of all this co-mixture which seized my uh, my will and the bearing of this uh, on our discussion now of human rights uh, is that human rights do depend, I'm suggesting, on a basic uh, act of, of recognition, for which we might give all sorts of reasons, uh, but without that ex act of, of recognition of the worth of human beings in themselves, for themselves, doesn't seem to me that we can get, uh, we can get very, uh, very far. And, of course, that sense of the worth and dignity of every single human being is very deeply rooted uh, in the Christian faith and, of course, Judaism, uh, and, after, all, after that, also in, uh, in Islam. <coughs>